It's good to have you join us again. Now to the next line of our discussion coming up now. The Governing All Progressives Congress has formally named the Governor of Plateau State, Simon Lalong, as the Director General of the Bola Tinubu Presidential Campaign Organization. Chairman of the party, Senator Abdullah Adamu, announced this to newsmen last week after meeting with President Muhammadu Buhari at the State House in Abuja. Senator Adamu explained that the choice of Mr. Lalong was based on his ability to do the work required as well as to ensure victory for the Tinubu Shetima ticket in next year's presidential election. Reactions have since uh, begun to trail the choice of Governor Lalong as the party's choice for campaign DG, with some Nigerians saying it was a feeble attempt at appeasing Christians from the North and Nigerian general. But in his reaction, Governor Lalong says his appointment isn't about religion, neither is it an attempt to ridicule Christians or the North Central uh, zone. He rejected calls from some quarters for him to reject the appointment. And now, Governor Simon Lalong joins us uh, via Zoom. Good morning, Your Excellency, and welcome to TBC Breakfast. <clears throat> good morning. Thank Plus, you very much. All right. It's good to have you join us indeed. So you're, you're coming in now as the DG of the APC's presidential campaign body. What value, or how will you quantify the value you're bringing in uh, to the party's bid to win in the forthcoming presidential election? Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, let me thank God and thank uh, uh, my party for recognizing me with this responsibility. And also, I must also thank my colleagues, the progressive governors, for even making that recommendation, because it was, first of all, a recommendation by the progressive governors for after the election and after the selection of the vice presidential candidate, vice presidential candidate. Now, people think that I came there on the platter of religion. I was, I, I wasn't first nominated on the platter of religion. These progressive governors sat down together. Of course, you should also know that at the time that it was really very, very, there was this strong sentiment that the presidency should not move to the south. It was Northern governors. I am the chairman of the Northern governors. I led a team to see the president. We made presentation to Mr. President. Mr. President looked at, looked at it objectively. It was not on the issue of basis. It was not on the basis of religion. And after that, how many candidates were presented? I am sure, apart from uh, Ashwaju, Bola Tinubu, apart from Lawan, the rest were all Christians. The rest were all Christians, I must say this. Now, there were also so many delegates that were Christians, so many, also so many delegates that were Muslims. First, we were thinking about the unity of this country. And I came out and I said, I always emphasize unity, fairness, and equity. We look at it objectively. And Mr. President agreed with us that this thing will move to the South. But by the time we were voting, we had a choice. People had a choice. I had a, we had a choice. It wasn't because, for me, I was not in the team of Bola Asiwaju. I was not in his team. And even when he emerged, I came back and said, sir, you know I was not in your team. But you won the election. And as a party man, anywhere you go, I will support you. You must win this election. That was the meeting we had with him immediately when he said, he said I, I will bring Northern governors to him. I said, you won't. Because our belief was that this thing be moved to the South. That any candidate that will emerge from the South will support him. No condition unconditionally support him. Immediately, he was announced, immediately he won the election. To be fair to him, it was, which was later, something that he later disclosed to us. Because all of us were quarreling with him. After he won the election, sir, he did not come back again to consult governors. We realized that he consulted some. Some ran there, 
without informing others. Well, those things were, were resolved. And he said, made a presentation to him that this, uh, the, the choice of the vice presidential candidate should go to the Northeast or Northwest. Remember, when we were talking about going to the South and North, it was not about Northeast or Northwest. But at the end of the day, we realized that if there was this thing, it is political, what I call political maneuvering. But the second aspect is that those people that were in his camp, led by his, uh, I, I will call, tactician, uh, Baba Shirlawa, he said he invited him and said, OK, also go and make a proposal for me as to where my mind will go for the choice of a vice presidential candidate. Again, I want to put it on record. Baba Chiri is a Christian. The proposal to him was that he should go to the Northeast and Northwest. I want you to understand this perspective. Governor Samal Along is from the, from the North Central. From the North Central. At this moment that I'm talking, even the, the composition of those that have been championing the issue of, of minority Christians, with minorities even in Nigeria, are all headquartered in Jos. All of them are in Jos. And within 2015 to death, nobody has done that assignment better than myself and, and the Secretary of the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa. Now, if you ask the question, was it all about Christianity? I didn't know. Because even when the agitations were going, personally, I did not contest. The vice pre office of vice president's uh, slot for candidate is not something that people will contest for. I did not have the fire. If I wanted to go for that, I would not have gone to contest for Senate. I have a central ticket at hand. Mm. But my own was to ensure that there was fairness and equity. Again, my Christian brothers were the one who made presentation that if it goes to the north, you must exclude a part of the north. That is not central. If you remove that central for minority Christian interests, I doubt if you will have any stronghold. Because all of them are here. This is the center where they come to meet. But when it came to that, it means that something was wrong. Something was wrong somewhere. So on that issue, I tell you that uh, Shetima emerged. Shetima, let me tell you today, and I said at the proper time, I'll be telling Nigerians the truth. Shetima was one, is my immediate predecessor at the time at the governor's, at the Northern Governor's Forum. It was Shetima when he was, uh, when his tenure was about to expire that went to all the Northern governors and told them that he will think that the best thing that he can do is if he hands over to the Plateau State government. I didn't know about that. He went around and lobbied. And so at the time we got to Kaduna, I couldn't have contested because I thought I was a minority. But in the night of that election, Satima called all of them and said, I was there. He said, look, for fairness, look to consider also the plight of the minorities. I think this thing should go to the governor of Plateau on post for his ability in uniting both Christians and Muslims in his state. What he has done so far, and all of them unanimously accepted and endorsed me as the chairman of the Northern Governor's Forum. In the Northern Governor's Forum, we are 19, but only three of us are Christians. He did that to me. I will not forget that. And after that, not only did that, but he encouraged me a lot. Anything that had to do with Northern Governors Forum, he was always available to give me the cooperation. To, to give me the cooperation. I say this because when they say, how are you going to sell? Well, sell what? We are all Christians. We all have our, our ambitions. I am a Catholic. I hold a papal award, the Knight of St. Gregory the Great. I was brought up by Catholic Church. I was brought up by missionaries from primary school. 
many people knew that I was taught by Reverend Fathers and Reverend Sisters. Some of us were privileged to attend missionary schools. So nobody can tell me I belong to that faith. But what I was quarreling with, why didn't they ask them? If you are talking about North South, why did you confess to show that kind of segregation? To say that the North Central should not be considered. Why? Because the only governor that was a Christian is from Plateau State, is from the North Central. Now, at the end of the day, perhaps because none of them were selected as the, the, the vice presidential uh, candidate, it became it now became a completely whole Christian affair. To death, as I'm talking, nobody has invited me. I am not sure they invited Boss Mustafa. For seven years, we've been championing this thing. Before that, when the, uh, we were forming APC, I remember that in uh, Senator George Akume's house was where we put ourselves together. And Babachir was chairman, I was secretary. What was this for? To propagate the interests of the minorities, which is usual. We went around and we said, look, consider us to work after election. So that you look at our plight. It was on the basis of that that consideration was given and the party ESCO was expanded to include Christians here and there. After that, we won the election. And I'm sure that it was part of it that Babashir was made secretary to the government as a minority. We went for his Thanksgiving, the first Thanksgiving, and he told us that we should not come back again, that he was given this ticket by his friend, as well as Ubola. Some of us said, no, all we are trying to say is that we want to know that you are given. Yes, we also argue that you are a minority, so that we can go and say thank you to Aswajibola Tindu for aiding your appointment.